Okay, I'm about an hour up from Bakersville off Interstate 70. It's been all uphill. And I got up here without skins, without snowshoes, without scales. I did it on my very old Fisher backcountry skis. 210 centimeters in length and I did it just with wax. These skis I think have about a half a camber. I believe that's how they measure them, which isn't much. It means right here under my heel it's curved just above the snow and that's where I apply the wax. This is a clump of snow that's adhering to the wax that I've applied just under my feet. And that way when I need to kick and glide or, or power I put pressure on this part of the ski, it goes down, pushes the wax into the snow, and provides traction. So a lot of snow has clumped up under here, which is really good for going up steep hills like I just came up. I'm a little out of breath. Plus I'm at uh, about 11,000 plus feet. But you get the idea. That kind of wax, kick wax, just right here under this part of the ski, under the boot and the binding, and the rest of it can be glide wax if you choose, but just a smooth, clean surface. So that when you're going downhill, your foot isn't pressing, pressing rather, into the snow. And even though this is clumped up, it'll scrape off a little bit as I'm going downhill. And this part will provide no resistance because, again, it's half cambered up. And you glide like the Dickens. It's a great little system many years old, but you have to be able to select the right wax. In this case, I'm using Blue Extra. It's a combination of two different temperatures of wax that works really great here in Colorado because we've got a very dry champagne powder-like snow. And, um, and it's pretty cold normally, especially at 11,000 plus feet. So Blue Extra works almost all the time until things warm up a month or two from now. It's March as I speak, early March. So I hope that comes out clear. There's not a lot of sunlight out today. It's snowing lightly. But the idea again is we gain traction right here and when we push down with our feet as we're shuffling uphill, that's where the traction comes from. And that's where I'm going, continuing uphill.